Welcome to lecture 3. In this lecture, we'll be focusing on the muscular skeletal system. Don't worry, I'm not going to terrorize you with the anatomical names in Mandarin. Okay, just maybe a little. But I promise you I'm only going to mention the important ones in this lecture. You can take a look at a more comprehensive list in the workbook. We'll also be talking about pain descriptors, a crucial set of vocabularies that characterizes pain. I'm sure you'll find these useful in figuring out what exactly your patient is experiencing. Let's start with the pain descriptors. Pain is tong tong in Chinese. Either tong or tong means pain. Discomfort will be bu shi or bu shu fu. Shu fu meaning comfort. Ache or dull pain is ying ying zuo tong. Tenderness will be chu tong, chu meaning to touch or to press. Soreness will be suan tong, suan meaning the acidic feeling. Tingling will be zhen si gan, zhen meaning a needle and si meaning prickle. Numbness will be either ma mu or ma bi. Itchiness, yang. Swelling, Zhong kuai or zhong bao. Sharp pain will be zi tong. Cramping, jiao tong. And throbbing pain will be tiao tong. Burning is zhuo re or zhuo shao gan. Weakness, wu li. To describe the severity of the pain, you may either say light, qing wei or qing du, moderate, 中等 or 中度, and severe, 强烈 or 重度. Continuous will be 持续的, and episodic, 一阵阵的, or 间歇的. Superficial, 表面, and deep, 深层. Your patient may not use the formal words for tenderness and throbbing. The formal words are 触痛 and 跳痛. Colloquially, your patient may say 按上去痛 or 摸上去痛 for tenderness and 一跳一跳的 for throbbing pain. The sensation of cramping is called 脚痛, while the actual verb or noun that describes the action of muscle cramping will be 抽筋 or 筋挛. Another place that you may hear the term 脚痛 is 心脚痛, the sensation of cramping of the heart which equals the angina. Here are some practice sentences. Is the pain constant or does it come and go? 疼痛是持续的还是间歇的? Or you may say, 是一直在疼还是一阵阵的? If a patient says, 我的手掌有灼烧和针刺感, 手腕也有点酸痛, In English that would be, My palm is burning and tingling, and my wrist is a little bit sore too. The translation for It was only discomfort at first, then my neck muscle would cramp up. 一开始只是不舒服, 然后我的脖子肌肉会开始抽筋. See that we're using 抽筋 to describe the action of cramping up. 我的头一整圈都痛, in English, that means there's pain surrounding my head and it's a throbbing pain. Here is a list of general body areas. The upper arm is either called 大胳膊 or 上臂. Lower arm will be 下臂 or 小胳膊. 臂 is the formal term and 胳膊 a colloquial term. Palm will be 手掌 and back of the hand 手背. Chest will be 胸部 and abdomen 腹部. The pubic area 阴部. 阴 meaning dark or shadow. Upper back is 背部. And the lower back 腰. Buttocks will be 臀部. And the ankle 脚腕 or 脚踝. For the five digits, thumb will be 大拇指 or simply 拇指. The index finger, 食指, middle finger, 中指. 
ring finger 无名指 and little finger 小拇指 or 小指 To describe the different anatomical structures, you may want to say these terms: nerve will be 神经 spinal cord 脊髓 muscle 肌肉 and tendon 肌腱 or 筋 Ligament is 韧带 and the bone 骨头 or simply 骨 Cartilage is 软骨软 meaning soft. Joint 关节 and the bursa 滑囊 The growth plate is 生长板 This is of course not a complete list, and you can refer to our workbook for something more comprehensive. Here are some terms that may cause some confusions. Shunbu is actually an ambiguous word. It can either mean the chest or the breast. To refer to the breast, it will be ru fang. To refer specifically to the chest, it will be shun kou. To differentiate between the spinal cord or spinal column, the spinal cord is ji sui, and the column ji zhu. Be aware that the patient might use these terms interchangeably, so always ask your patient what exactly they mean. There are two Chinese characters that have similar pronunciations, jing and jing. The first character jing also refers to the muscle tendon, but to avoid confusion, it may be the best for you to use the word ji jian. For the latter character, jin, jin luo is a traditional Chinese medicine concept. It's a path where the qi flows. You might hear the patient says jin luo bu tong, or the inability of the qi to flow. It's an explanation to something like cold extremities and pain in traditional Chinese medicine. Jin luo also has nothing to do with shen jin, which means nerves. Although the two characters sounds the same. They refer to concepts that are unrelated to each other. Here are some practices. Many lower back pain are muscle instead of bone pain. In Mandarin, that will be, 很多腰痛都是肌肉而不是骨骼疼痛 I injured my ankle ligament many years ago. In Mandarin, that will be, 我在很多年前伤到了我脚踝的韧带 Again, 韧带 is ligament, and 脚踝 ankle. To say that joint injury that involves the growth plate may cause complications, you can say, 影响到生长板的关节损伤有可能导致并发症。并发症 meaning complications. 并发 meaning occurring at the same time. Here are some terms for the bony anatomies: skull, 头骨 the mandible, 下颚骨 clavicle, 锁骨 And the sternum, 胸骨 Remember that 胸 meaning the chest. Rib will be 肋骨 The scapula, 肩胛骨 The pelvis will be 骨盆盆 meaning a basin. The cervical vertebra will be 颈椎颈 is a formal name of the neck. The thoracic vertebra will be 胸椎 And lumbar vertebra, 腰椎 Femur is 股骨,骨 and the patella is colloquially called 膝盖骨 but formerly called 髌骨 Meniscus will be 半月板 Here are some common MSK conditions. To say disability, you can say 残疾 We'll discuss some notes about it later. Fracture is 骨折，折 meaning to break or to fold. Dislocation is 脱臼，臼 meaning the socket, the joint socket. Instability is 不稳定，稳定 is stable. Muscle strain will be 肌肉拉伤。The Mandarin for inflammation is 发炎 or 炎症。发炎 is an adjective, and 炎症 the noun. So that means itis is something 炎 So for example, arthritis will be 关节炎 tendonitis 肌腱炎 
synovitis is 关节膜炎，膜 meaning the membrane, and bursitis 滑囊炎。The anterior cruciate ligament tear is 前十字韧带撕裂。The cruciate is 十字 ，and ligament 韧带。Anterior is 前 and posterior 后 Carpal tunnel is 腕管综合症 Osteoporosis 骨质疏松疏松 meaning loose. Gout is 痛风 And lastly, overuse 过度使用 You may commonly hear Chinese patients saying they have 颈椎病 This is a common term that encompasses a lot of the cervical spine conditions, most likely osteoarthritis. For spinal stenosis, it will be 脊髓压迫 or 脊柱狭窄压迫 meaning pressure and 狭窄 meaning narrow. This herniation will be 椎间盘突出 The degenerative disc disease will be 椎间盘退化 Radiculopathy will be 神经根压迫，根 meaning root, so 神经根 nerve root. Rheumatoid arthritis is 肋分支关节炎 Rheumatic is 分支 in Mandarin, and 肋 meaning similar but not the same. A note on disability. 残疾 is the official word for describing disability in Chinese. So to say people with disability. You can say 残疾人 The terms to avoid are 残废 and 失能残废 is derogatory and suggests that people with disability is a waste. And 失能 means loss of ability to perform daily functions, which is not synonymous with disability. Here are some terms for tests and treatments of MSK conditions. Physical exam will be 体检 or 检查 X-ray is X 光 ，CT is 电脑断层扫描。Although you don't have to translate into Mandarin at all times, sometimes people understand what CT means. MRI will be 核磁共振成像 ，or simply 核磁共振。People might also not need the translation, and you can just say MRI. Physical therapy will be 理疗 or 物理治疗。Pain relievers is 止痛药 or 镇痛药 Icing or heating an area is called 冰敷 or 热敷 Ansen is 非肋骨醇类消炎药 or you may simply say 消炎药 to say anti-inflammatory medication. As we'll see in later lectures, steroid is 肋骨醇 Aspirin is 阿司匹林 And ibuprofen, buprofen. Acetaminophen goes by its trade name in Mandarin, so it is Tylenol for Tylenol. Opioids will be 鸦片类药 and vitamin D, 维生素 D. Lastly, calcium is 钙 Here are some sentence practices that synthesize what we learned today. To say arthritis is a common cause of knee, wrist, and lower back pain, you can say. 关节炎是导致膝盖、手腕和腰痛的常见原因。Your symptoms suggest that vertebra is pressing on nerve roots in your cervical spine. In Mandarin, that will be: 您的症状表示您的颈椎骨正在压迫颈部脊髓的神经根。I know this one's a mouthful. To say I would like to take an X-ray first to see if there's any fracture, you can say. 我想先拍一张 X 光，来看一下有没有任何骨折。To say osteoporosis is common in elders, vitamin D and calcium supplement can help prevent it. 骨质疏松在老年人中常见，补充维生素 D 和钙会帮助预防。I will prescribe some opioids after ACL surgery. Icing and physical therapy are important for proper healing. In Mandarin, that explanation will be: 我会在您的前十字韧带手术之后
开一些鸦片类药物，冰敷和理疗对正常恢复很重要。Lastly, the tingling and numbness in your finger and toes are symptoms of nerve damage from diabetes. Aspirin and acetaminophen won't have much effects. 您手指和脚趾的针刺和麻痹感，都是糖尿病导致神经损伤的症状。阿司匹林和泰诺不会有任何效果。Again, I have no conflicts of interest. The text and the slides in the workbook are written by me, Frank, with additional help from members of CMIG at UCLA. Video editing is made by Jasmine. Thank you, and see you in next lecture.